Hey, Travis here with Them Grills, and today we're gonna get this nasty looking C4 portable grill looking good again. Uh, we're gonna do the same techniques on our M16 all stainless steel grills, and we're gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to make these things look great for your next competition. So, let's get to it. Let's first talk about what we're gonna need and how we're gonna do it. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take apart all the basic parts, like the handle, the, uh, the legs, the nuts and bolts here. I'm just gonna take those off, probably take off the latch too. Um, we are, got, I got a wet rag here, I got a dry rag, and I got some, um, this is pretty much like an industrial Scotch-Brite. It's not the typical Scotch-Brite you find in the grocery stores. We use these at the shop all the time for polishing, deburring. Uh, it's pretty coarse, but um, I'll put a description below to where you could purchase this. And um, this will make it polishing. Uh, we polish everything with this stuff. So um, we'll get to it. Let's uh, first start stripping this down and wipe it down. And just a little something about this C4. This is my personal one. I leave this on my patio at all times. I it, It's always outdoors. Uh, I cook in it religiously. It has changed colors. The stainless, it's gotten to where it's a goldish color. The stains on it, I've used this in competition. So I got stains that are just kind of burnt in. And uh, But what we're gonna do is make this thing look good. Look at that. It's even leaking water because I just leave it out. But for a grill that just gets left outside, it's still in great condition. So uh, we're just gonna make it look good again. So let's get to it. So there we go, we have it. This thing has been sitting out in the rain. Uh, we have actually had a lot of rain lately and there's just some nasty gunk on the bottom. So we get a trash can, I'm gonna scrape all this out and then we'll get to uh, cleaning up and getting this thing looking good. So bear with me. So that's pretty nasty in there. So what we're gonna do is first just wipe all this down. And when I'm doing this today, also for the M16, it's the exact same process. I strip the entire grill down and then I'm able to scotch fry it, 
polish it up, make it look really good again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off this front, the vent cover. Be a little easier to work around. I'm just gonna leave the latch on, I think. Don't wanna lose that little spring in there. Okay, let's put those there. But that, this is a reason why I love stainless steel grills like this, especially thick stainless. Um, they're just gonna last so much longer. Uh, I'm not worried about paint chipping and then looking terrible. Then you gotta really kind of sandblast them and paint them or whatever. But here, I kind of like it when the stainless turns colors. You know, it's like stainless steel exhaust tips. It's just, it's pretty cool. You know, it starts turning gold and uh, I've gotten these so hot when they start to turn a little purple. And I like that look personally, but okay, so we're about good to go. Let me clean this off. There was still a lot of rainwater in that C4. But if that was mild steel with that ash and rainwater just sitting in it, that bottom would start just getting it would uh, start eating away. Okay. Give us a little quick dry. Keep my surface clean. Okay, Scotch Bright. So what I like to do is uh, this will actually put a little bit of a grain, depending on which way. It puts little scratches in there, but if you all just go the same way, it makes a nice little, it makes a grain pattern. So I'm gonna start the long ways, right on the lid, and just go back and forth. And then after I do that a few times, I'm moving over and do the same thing. And I'm just going straight back and forth. So just in that little bit of time, you can see the difference. Okay, we're just gonna keep on going. Let's do the lid. When you're using stuff like Scotch Brite, you'll notice that as you're putting pressure on your fingers, you'll see kind of little lines in it from where your finger pressure is. So when I'm doing it, I'll actually move my fingers over a little bit to where if I see those lighter lines, I kind of put a finger there over that line to darken it up. If your grill was steel or anything like that, um, painted, you, know, you can't really do this method. You're just gonna have to repaint it. Do the latch, the latch is stainless steel, so very easy. Still has a little gunk on there. But if you want it looking really nice, just always go that same direction. Wherever you're at, the corners, that corner. I'm just kind of doing it really light. You see that difference? I mean, it almost looks brand new again. 
and actually just because the darker areas since it's been cooked in it has a, a lot more contrast in some little areas where the logo you know it looks kind of like that battle worn look it's pretty cool okay so pretty much got the lid part done i can go around the sides with the lid those don't take much here doing this anytime you're doing any sanding you always want to wipe it down you know this isn't really aggressive sanding it's just a basically like a polish okay but it's looking good okay I'm gonna open this up put it on the side now let's do this side here I'll do half of it so you can see the difference. as uh, much as I'm gonna go. Now you can probably go a little bit more extreme with it if you want, but it's really good compared to pretty much what it used to look like. Big difference. So, so I'll work around.
Yeah, big difference. This one has some lot of caked up stuff on it. You can feel it, it's very it's definitely caked up, so let's we'll see what we could do to get it off. tackle this area. Turn this around. Actually, I'm going to use a fresh pad. See if that helps. Something a little more aggressive. This little area here is a little troublesome. I think it's almost like that needs to be scraped off because you could feel it. It's definitely kind of high. You could feel it raised. I need some more uh, like an aggressive uh, scotch brite or even sandpaper on that one. Some really fine grit sandpaper. Okay. Yep, so we'll just leave that on there. At least everything else is, looks really nice. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the bottom. Nobody's gonna see the bottom. But, let's get the front. around
down. Dry cloth. My table's nasty again. A sludge inside. But after we get to this point, you no, know, we could actually, uh, when we get to this point, we could um, polish it up, put a stainless polish on there. There is a new product that I came across at the HPB Expo called Grill Guardian Stainless Steel Protectant. So I might put it on here or I might try it on a different one. I know I'm definitely going to try this on the M16. So, um, yeah, it's for stainless steel grills. Supposed to put some type of a film on there. I don't know. We'll try it out. Okay, handle. Let's get the handle looking good. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this over to the side now. Let's get our handle. We don't wanna spend all this time and get a dirty looking handle in there. So, let's just quickly check this. This is all stainless. It doesn't take much because it doesn't see a lot of heat, so it doesn't really discolor. It just gets a little dirty if you leave it outside, like I do. And this is actually the first time I've done this with this grill, so as much as I've used it, it's the first time I've cleaned it. All right, and handle looks great. Uh, let's get a leg. It's got a little shine back. Still see a little, you know, some dark areas in there, but I think a lot of that's just heat and then the steel. But overall, I mean, it's got a nice sheen to it, so it's gonna look good. Yeah, compare the difference. Big difference. Wrong one. All right. Yeah, let's do this one.
See if I can get this area a little more. Yeah, it's probably like this this whole thing. If you spend a little more time with it, I bet you you can get this down to where it's just completely, completely clean again and shiny. But I'm not gonna get that crazy with it. Just want it looking better than it did. This looks a lot better. Without spending a ton of time. Okay. Okay, now let's just put this sucker back together. I'll wipe it down one more time and good to go. But I am gonna take this hinge, I mean, not the hinge, but the uh, latch here. polish this up just a little bit. If you ever need to replace the latch in your C4, we are going to start selling them on our website. They are not much. And just four little bolts is all it takes just to replace it. So, um, there you go. Let's put this sucker back. I'm even going to kind of polish the screw heads a little bit. I could go as far as scraping and cleaning these down, but I just gonna leave it. This is another good example of why we use stainless steel fasteners because if these were mild steel, they would be useless. Which a lot of guys out there, a lot of companies, you know, they go cheap. They're going to use mild steel, nickel plated. You would have to completely change the screws in here because they'd be so rusted together. You wouldn't be able to take them apart. This one. This looks like a complete new grill.
this down I can't believe how much water was in that thing gunk There it is. Huge difference before and after. That's it, stainless steel. A little elbow grease, no chemicals. You can have these things looking really good. So that's it. That's how we take care of our, uh, take care of our toys, our machines. So uh, hey, thanks guys. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.